such a read. Cut through. Dig into the good stuff. We have an image. Yeah, Gekman, the, the article did leak. A bandy twin, no tier ones is safe by this press and worry for affinity. Yeah, it is a little worrisome. It is a little worrisome. So he bounced, he gave me back the birthing pot, he wants the lily. That's fine. Because I think birthing pod. Some of our draws can be quite good for pod. Right, so, woodland. Uh, he either has the counter or he doesn't. I kind of like to slam the Kokosha. It's only going to get worse. He has the soft permission. He has this. Oh, he didn't have the soft permission. Cool. Show me Path to Exile. Definitely wish I had another sacrifice outlet. I mean, I could, I could have technically potted this, but the hope is that he has to spend a removal on the, the Coke Show. Again, he may, you know, switch the O-Ring to the Coco Show now, giving back Lily. He's kind of like bouncing around this O-Ring. Okay, so now he's going after the Coco Show. I maybe should have sacrificed the Coco Show. That's funny. He's just bouncing this O-Ring all over the place, this guy. He, he doesn't know what he wants to answer. He's like, ah, I'll take the Coco Show now. It's just kind of funny. In fact... That's pretty good. Um, Alright, so... Stagger Shock's not too bad. Face Fetter sucks. Alright, hang on. So... Monastery's also scary. Could actually, like, he actually has a win condition, potentially. He's only got a few cards, though. I think you put the Face Fetters in one pile, though. I feel like... Well, you don't put the monastery with a bunch of <laughs> with a bunch of spells. That feels really bad. Well, here he just takes the face fetters in the sphere in the in the monastery. Here he takes this pile. Here he takes. Here it's a little more ambiguous what you take. We don't want the monastery in the same pile as the stagger shock. That's too much free prowess. I think you give him these three. It makes it a little tougher. I feel like you definitely have to split up the Monastery and the Stagger. You have to split the Faiths and the Monastery. We can't let him have both. But you put both in one pile, he snaps it up. Um, it's This was not an easy pile. Like, there was a lot of gas spells. Like, Faiths and Monastery being... So he ended up taking the Monastery. That might be really good for us, it might be really bad for us. We're gonna find out. So here's Mentor. Yes, we know you can close games quite quick. So he's... Oh, reading the Kokosho. Okay. I don't have an instant speed uh, sack, so we honestly just have to let it go. I'm surprised he's letting me draw or you know draw cards this uh, so very much from the the uh, the um, the siege. He's letting me see a lot of cards from the siege. We're drawing a lot of land though. All right, so feeder can pot into rats. Rats can actually keep up with the. Uh, Monastery it also will flip the lily, and the O-Ring is pretty ineffective. The other card he took was a little land, right? Oh, yeah, he also took Impulse. So what if we pod this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now. So what about potting here and uh, pack rat, pack rat activation? Uh, 17 lands kick. So this will flip lily. get our dude, we pot into pack rat, and hopefully we just win. Is there a creature I would want to return here actually? Hang on. No. None of which kill the monastery. I mean there's some options, but I think it's definitely just a plus. That's two rat activations. And it might be wrong. Well, it might have been wrong to. 
That's tough. That's a tough call. All right, best bet. I mean, rats. Rats in theory in this format could go wider than the unless he chains some some cantrips together, which is possible. This rat should go wider than the mentor in a shorter period of time, in theory. He's also close to the uh, Venser ultimate, so that's terrifying. We do have to get in a hit on this Venser. Close up on the couch and we're still playing. Yeah, this is the last one. It's all good, Gick. Gick me. Uh, 15 land. That crab is just super sweet. We got the Consecrated Sphinx. Time Warp. That is the gross. It's one of the grosser cards you can draw. He just drew it. He didn't even draw, uh, he didn't even use his, uh, cantrip, by the way. He literally just drew into exactly Time Warp. That is terrifying. He can't, he can't swing with the Mentor, though, because I have two activations. Like, he has to... He has to wait... What an interesting board state. Like, we're both trying to go wide now. We both have Planeswalkers. I have a Siege, but he has an O-Ring. Oh, yeah, Andy? Would you like to play that deck, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, that gets in the emblem. We're just toast. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, the time warp was clutched there because we didn't have a burn spell to hit the Venser. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can see why this guy's in the finals. So he gets to Venser something. Hopefully... I think he's going after the outpost. We'll see what he goes after with the Venser. He went after the Lily. It's actually not so bad. I mean, lose, losing, just straight up losing permanence for every spell he casts now is going to brutalize us. This impulse will find undoubtedly another spell to probably get the outpost as well. The hope is that he starts to draw land like we have been. Now we can we can pod one of these rats into the spe uh, specter, and the specter pods into a removal for the mentor, but it might just be too slow. I wish there was a three mana answer. We could find bolt, you know, there's, there's options. So Ral Zarek. Okay, let's see what this Venser triggers. This is pretty awesome. Let's go. I mean, you have to admit. Alright, so what's he going after the outpost? He's going after Rat? Okay. Yeah, but I just made clones. And this might just be a Ral bolt on the Ral, on the uh, on the on the other pack rat. He may just be trying to starve our pack rat. He didn't go after the outpost siege though. This might mean he has, means he has another spell though. That would be the grossest if he literally had one more spell to cast here. He didn't okay. But our pack rat has fallen quite behind. We were again that time warp was huge, and we were hoping to be ahead of the. God, he has another spell. All right. Yeah, I think we scoop him up for time's sake. Conrad, opponent, played Time Warp. <laughs> and it was just gross and had, like, a bunch of spells that went with the Monastery and just went crazy. I still think we gave him the right, uh, split the piles correctly, though. Like, if you left Stagger Shock with Monastery, that's gross, too. He, he top-decked Time Warp, Conrad. He top-decked a Time Warp at the perfect time. Like, Monastery is one of the cards that takes advantage of Time Warp so very much like literally last turn was just a mentor now there's this because it's late game two and we had a lot of land drops i mean it's just impossibly good i don't know what kind of top decks we could possibly have like we have to answer so much um this chump block here like there's three walkers an emblem and a and a i don't even know we got a horly outburst and a shriek maw too late though I mean, even if I even if I kill the monastery and go wide with the outburst, he'd have to draw Stark nothing for the next few turns. But Jace is not going to let that happen. We'll play it out there. We're not too far behind on time on this guy, so that's reason enough for me. We do have an active birthing pod. We got outs. So one, two, three, four, five. Or do we need a pod immediately? Our six drop already happened, so I think you just shriek. 
He has no cards in hand. Oh, did I really just do that? Oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> I wanted to keep the Shriek Maw. No! Well, we were going to keep it. I tapped, I tapped the mana for it, but it thinks I didn't want to keep it. We, we needed that creature to stay. Although he probably just would Rowl Bolt the Shriek Maw. We probably wouldn't have kept Like and let, I mean, It's also possible he just hits another non-creature spell and... Or any spell, excuse me, it's any spell. I, I just, there's no way you win this. We could play it out because the clocks are somewhat close. It is going to take him some time to kill us. But not much time. Alright, there goes the siege. He's also still showing us cards because he's enjoying the vents. I mean, like, and, and that's part of the fun of Swiss is to have fun with the deck for sure. So, since we're definitely closing the gap on the, um... Since we're starting to close the gap on the time differential... Blah, blah. I'm gonna keep it rolling. Oh, I meant to block two, the two separate monks. That was weird. I thought I clicked two separate monks. Okay, this is him bouncing the wall for value. That's your value. is super sweet. I'd love to build this deck. It's just, it feels like this is sought after. So we can birthing pot a goblin into a one drop. Does that do much for us? Like we pod this. And we're toast. But this will pot into the twos. But it probably gets exiled. His deck is sweet too, Sarkir. I mean, I think our deck's cool as well. I think we just didn't kill him quickly enough. We didn't see the finishers. We kind of just saw all land <laughs> at the end there. Only run 17. But, like, we did flood, kind of. <laughs> and, you know, when 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 you flood, things like Factor Fiction are definitely going to run away with a game. With a game. Right, Soulfire Grandmaster. Interesting. I mean, at this point, it's awesome. When you have that much mana, this is super sweet. Just doing a lot of F6ing. So we definitely closed the time gap. It is indeed a strong deck. Okay, there's the Rowl. So, Obnix and Hellrider. Um, I just don't think this does enough, no matter how I spin it. Like, you could, like, Obnix to draw a card here. Or we could destroy the wall that's giving him ridiculous card advantage. One, two, three, four. I mean, we have enough mana to cast both of these threats. But the opponent's on full mana. I just don't see coming back for the Venser Emblem. I don't really want to show him the Obnix or the Hellrider. We closed most of the time gap. We're only behind less than a minute now. So, I'm fine with that. Like, I was just f 6 a lot there, closing uh, what time gap we had produced. I, I do make time gaps when I play and stream. And, man, I'm exhausted after a 15-hour stream. But, I closed that gap with a lot of f 6 We got to see the whole shebang. He is dirtily Venser Walker Control. I love it. I love to build it. It always gets taken for me. So we're going to go a little more aggressive. Uh, we did see Oblivion Ring. Give me some dudes. Give me the dudes. Uh, anger is probably one of the only ways you can really answer a, a, a mentor that goes wide. But again, I'm just, I just want the burn spells. I just want to go face. Storm Breath seems hard for him to answer. Seems good. Yeah, let's go value and just face. Value and... I don't even know if I want some of the grindier stuff like Lily, even though Lily's sweet. Potentially super sweet. No, we keep the Lily. What am I cutting down? Now the Gore House is wrong. We'll cut that. Bushwhacker might even be wrong. Although, if we can get a bunch of our tokens, it's game ending. The problem is, is we only have so many token generators. 